My name is Chris. I live in Phoenix, Arizona and make tiny video games. 2015 was a very big year for me. Here's everything that I did. January. Release a big game we spent a year making on iPhone called Wizard Golf RPG. We got press from Shanghai to Guadalajara. A lot of people liked it, but not a lot of people paid for it. The team I was on realized that we had different goals, so we split up. We agreed that they got the money and I got the game. It's no biggie, we're still friends. February. I get right on it and release my first game post breakup. It's called Rogue Drop. It's a cross between Peggle and a roguelike. You can get a copy right here. March. Catch a plane to San Francisco to the Game Developers Conference. I visit PlayStation headquarters, found this room where they watch people play video games, got on the show floor to try experimental games, found myself on a British video game podcast, then I met this guy. Hanging out here, who, who is this? Hi, my name is Ron Gilbert. Still found the time to release a game about building pixel art with ping pong balls. April. Released Drill Planet to the App Store and about 10 people played it. Probably should market my next game. May. My wife and I fly to Germany for vacation, but I still managed to play the world's largest Atari controller, a Soviet-era video game about hunting, a rabbit Pac-Man ripoff, and a bear that captures butterflies with a net. Communism sucks. Also went to Norse-Weinstein Castle, where I learned about King Ludwig and was inspired to make a new game about a deposed king. But more on that in a little later. June. Collaborated with pixel artist Pomeranian to make a game about being the elevator operator in hell. July? I guess I didn't do anything. August. Released a game about hailing an Uber during the zombie apocalypse. Everyone who played it said it was hard to understand that the controls were mushy. I agreed, so I abandoned it. You can make the same conclusion yourself by playing it over here. September. Mario Maker releases. I gave a presentation about level design and the Japanese concept of Ki Sho Ten Ketsu. But the most important thing this month was the start of Zombie King, an auto runner where you must rebuild the life of the victim of regicide. October. Flew to Amsterdam, where I didn't do anything video game related. Because seriously, look at this place. November. Back to making Zombie King. Hey, look at that. It's a map screen. I also got this new microphone, which I'm using to talk to you right now. December. More building. Even got some people to test it. Look at that guy's beard. But no matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't get Zombie King done by the end of the year. And that brings us to the end of 2015. What a rush of a year. I really want to share all of 2016 with you, so sign up for my mailing list and you'll find out twice a month what games I've released and what I've gotten myself into.